gonna ask you this question. If you got a product that you wanna push in any kind of way, if you wanna bake a cake and sell it, you wanna sell a car, and there's some other things you can sell I ain't gonna even talk about. But whatever that is that you want to sell, you need 10 smart teams. I mean, it's the most exciting thing that I could think about. I love to sing and dance and music, but give me something to celebrate about. Don't celebrate till after you done done some work. And then we can get down and party. Talking about the 10 smart teams got me ready to party. I'm gonna sing, but it ain't about no singing. We all sing and dance, but what got me turned on is about the 10 smart teams. Number one, you need a place to do it. They call that real estate, don't they? I'm gonna break it down easy. We got that building down the street. We going in there, no you ain't. Cause the insurance man says you ain't putting your foot in here, but you buy some insurance. Now, oh, we got a building. We doing this, we doing that. But we going to our building, it ain't open cause ain't nobody managing it. So who's gonna manage it? What you gonna do with the finance? What are you gonna do with your technology? What is that? That's what you do with the 10 smart teams. Okay, now you're gonna market your stuff. You gotta find out well, who you gonna sell it to. Fat people, short people, people like, ooh, ooh. I'm working with some beautiful people in New York. They got, they got about a thousand young people. They buy t-shirts and they talking about power this and power that. And then they go and pay someone else to make their t-shirts. And you got a thousand young people that can make their own t-shirts, take that money and sell them. I can't tell them they done invited me to come speak. I go look at them like that. <laughs> what can I say to them? They, I've said it, they know what to do. Mr. Knight, you go come, you got a thousand kids up there buying t-shirts and you go down the street and buy from somebody else. Why you want me to come and say anything? So those are the 10 smart things, whatever you gonna sell. And um, the consciousness that I have lived to see, the stories that I've been told about our journey, and now to live, to see, and be in a place where we're having a good time and the conscious level has risen to this level. Booker T. Washington was able to get some capital. The man built Carnegie Hall. I think the last time the black community had any capital was then. Oh, we've had money, but it was, it was, it was, it, it was gifts and, 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 and uh, what's his other one? Charity programs. and programs. <laughs> but we haven't had nobody give us capital. So he saw Booker T. Washington working. He says, I'm going to give you capital. See, I don't want nobody to give me no charity. I don't want my friends to give me no charity because they're going to go and talk about you. And I'm, I ain't going to be talking about no more about what you did for me. You now, you got some capital to give me because I'm doing something that you think is important in the neighborhood? Booker T. Washington didn't ask that man for no money. He says, I see you building something. You're teaching people to build buildings, plumbing, all the things they need for an education. Now, you can't get no education until you first build the building. Well, I'm with W.B. Du Bois. She said, put that here. It all goes together. If you ain't got the building, you can't study. So without Booker T, you got no Du Bois. So get off of this thing. About one with this way, one with that way. We all running from the devil. <laughs> I'm going to ask you this question. What do we want in the movie? That everybody in here is going to bring something to the movie. I was asking a young lady this on the show not too long ago, we were talking. She said, I said, you think we should have a bank in our movie? Well, we need a bank for. I said, okay. I said, you know we need a bank because when you work hard and you get your capital, you gotta have a safe place to put it so people don't steal it. That's right. I said, and you know, I've been told stories of how you went and put your money in the bank in the morning and you went back there that evening and they told you, you ain't put no money in this, I ain't gonna say the word they called you. You ain't put no money in this bank and don't come back here asking for nothing. So that's why we had to open up our own bank in 1888. There you go. I, 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 don't know. I know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? I know what you're talking about. Well, all the talk has been done. I wanna sing a couple of songs because it's all been said and done and we wanna dance and sing and eat because we know where we're going. We're building our future. And our future looks like what we want to look like. Are there all kinds of races in our, in our movie? That's right. Of course. But is there racism? No. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> it ain't that. What do you don't want in your movie? It ain't that.
Well, can I have this and that? Whatever you want. There's no masa to tell you what you can or cannot have. This is the first time you are free, free, free. That's what freedom is. Build anything you want to build. And some other things you can build too that you might need, but right now we're building back. I'm going to go to the piano.